2014, this was Matt Turner being number one on ESPN's not top 10 list. It was a horrible situation where someone kicked a long shot far away and Turner let in an old goal in a way that you usually only see six-year-olds go. This was his humiliating moment, and of course, it's on YouTube, so you can watch it again and again and again. And Matt Turner trying to be a keeper really didn't have much success. A walk-on in college, undrafted in Major League Soccer, he's not the person you'd expect to be manning the goal for American Men's World Cup team. But he did. He got to that point. He didn't let that horrible memory define him. He didn't let all that difficulty push him away, all of the criticism. We've got all these more talented keepers. You're the guy who scored on himself in college. I mean, how ridiculous is that? He kept going. We live in a world that wants to bring up all of our evil, wants to remind us of all of our failures, wants to push us down. But Matt Turner is an encouraging story of the way God can bless us and preserve us, even in spite of our past. Psalm 2, why do the nations conspire and the people's plot in vain? The life of a Christian is feeling oppressed. It is looking at the world and advancing in its evil ways. And sometimes you say, well, what about me? Who's going to care? And if you're Matt Turner in 2014, well, you're just a laughingstock. But now Matt Turner in 2022 is something entirely different by God's grace. In our lives, in our going through the motions of trying to live, and sometimes you go, well, what about me? When's it going to get better? When am I going to have the improvement I want? We're not in control. We don't get to have the success we want right away in life or consistently in life. We could even look at evil and say, why do they seem to be getting better and I seem to be getting worse? But the comfort of Psalm 2 as you read this today is that God's in control. God preserves his people. God protects and provides for us, not on our timetable, not in the way we want. Maybe we're going to get humiliated again, even today. But, but if you trust in God to provide, then you realize it's not on you. It's not on your worst moments. It's on him to take you through it. It's on him to provide through it. It's on him and his grace and mercy. He's made promises to do that. Trust those promises May God grant you successes, whether in this life or the life.